Hello and welcome to another episode of Go With Me to Fit. This time we decided to come to the city of Liverpool. just arrived in Liverpool <clears throat> after one hour delay in our flight and uh, yeah we're on a taxi free ride um, that we got and yeah we're going to the airport, to the hotel in Liverpool they have uh, their own uh, accent and dialect I don't know <laughs> which is called scows and the people from Liverpool are, are called Scousers. Uh -huh. yes. There is a local dish, the Scouse, ah. which is like a stew and so on. So we are at the resident hotel. I open. Yeah. The moment of truth. Oh. Well. Hello. We are here in the hotel in Liverpool. This is the first morning after we arrived from our flight yesterday from Dublin, which was like half an hour, very short. And we are going to explore Liverpool today. It's a sunny day, uh, not too cold, and it's the 24th of December, so that's why we're wearing these hats. Uh, we were on our way to start the day in Liverpool, but then we saw this place here. Uh, it has great desserts, so we are like, We're gonna spend some time here. It's really nice. Very cool stuff. So we're here, uh, behind us is the, it's called the Bombed Out Church. Uh, and this was a church that was bombed during the Blitzkrieg uh, in World War II, I think in 1941. And nowadays um, they left it as it is, and nowadays it's a cultural center for events, and they show movies and yeah, events like that. We're now outside, uh, close to um, St. George's Hall, which was built in 1854, and it's a neoclassical building that contains law courts um, in it. And behind us, you can also see, or next to it, the Christmas market of this year in Liverpool.
We're in the Central Library of Liverpool. It was built in 1860 and it's one of the biggest li uh, libraries in the city. And it has a really impressive interior. And on the top there's a roof where you can enjoy a view of the city. So we're going to take you inside and let's go. really impressive in the library and I really enjoyed the, I think it's called the Victorian room where we were before. It has all these old magazines and books dating all the way back to the 1700s, even like lists of uh, people that died in Liverpool, uh, so it's very interesting and uh, it's very quiet, uh, you can see a lot of people uh, studying um, and reading and I wish we had something like this. Uh, in Dublin, uh, I would go every Saturday uh, for sure with my book or with my laptop to work on something. And of course now we're gonna see the rooftop and uh, I can already see it looks very promising. It's very beautiful and very bright. We're in the rooftop of the Central Library. Um, we have yeah, a very nice view of the city. Uh, the radio tower is uh, on our left. And if you want a higher view, uh, even higher than this one, and a 360 view of the whole city, go there. It's about a seven to eight pounds uh, price per ticket. We also can see from here uh, the Anglican Cathedral. Uh, there's uh, Behind us there's the spikes, that's the Anglican Cathedral. The Empire Theater behind us as well. Uh, and um, in front of us, there's the museum, the uh, Liverpool Museum, and yeah, uh, it's, it's really nice. We're here in Dale's Kitchen. It's a coffee place we found uh, while on our way down and uh, walking in Liverpool. And we're having some really nice brunch, some egg, eggs benedict with a uh, smoked salmon, uh, listening to some Christmas tunes. So this is the statue of one of um, Beatles songs, famous songs, it's called All the Lonely People and the album was Revolver from 1966. <laughs> and now we're going to introduce our friends, Angelos and Petras. Hello, I'm Petras and I'm Angelos. And we're going to tolerate these two lads for the next few days. Street. This is where the Cavern Club is located. That's where the Beatles played um, in the beginning and when they started their career back in the 1960s. Uh, they played approximately 300 times in this club, which started as a jazz club, club and then quickly became uh, the hub for pop and rock uh, during the 1960s. So we're here in the Beatles Cafe. It's all about the Beatles in this quarter, as you can see. <laughs> okay. 
This is the Liverpool Cathedral. It's the fifth largest cathedral in the world. Uh, it has a really nice panoramic view of Liverpool, so you can go all the way to the top. Uh, you pay around six pounds. And now we're gonna go in to listen to some Christmas carols. Today's the 24th, so we're gonna experience that. more about this huge cathedral, Liverpool Cathedral. It was built in or designed in 1903. Its architect or designer at the time, Sir Gilles Gilbert Scott, uh, won a competition. Um, he didn't have any experience in architecture. His only experience was um, building a pipe stand. Uh, however, he won that competition and it took 75 years to complete this cathedral, which is the pride of today's uh, Liverpool. And he's also known for building or designing the telephone red booth, which is spread all over the UK. with different starters, hummus and tzatziki, garlic bread, and I think another enchilada here as well. How was your dinner? It was good. Did you enjoy your spicy stuff? Yeah. It wasn't too spicy. But it was too spicy for me. I cannot stand that spiciness. It's supposed to angulus. Angulus, how about you? It was nice. I like the food. But uh, yeah, I should have taken a more spicy chimichanga. How about you, John? <laughs> Do you agree with Angelus? <laughs> you needed a bit more spicy. No, mine was enough. <laughs> I had the right level of spiciness in the soup and then I balanced it out with the tzatziki, so <laughs> it was enough. Very good. Uh, I think it doesn't, uh, it's not shown in the camera how red I am, but I'm on fire, so for me it was definitely too much. <laughs> No, I'm not a spicy person, but it was good. Okay. We had some fun here. <laughs> 